Hi, this is Joseph Anthony of TappingWithMusic.com. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today we're going to do a little EFT active imagination that is specifically geared towards writers. And being a poet and a short story writer myself, it's going to have a bit of that slant, but it's really for any type of writer, any genre that you write, biography, memoirs, nonfiction, fiction, anything like that. Anyone who's struggling with writer's block, lack of inspiration, time, energy, any of those issues, this video is for you. And if you choose to tap along, you're accepting full responsibility for doing so. Really, this video is designed to help you get more clarity, energy, ideas, passion, creativity, freedom, fun uh, back into your writing or more into your writing if it's there already and you want more of it because you know you're allowed to have more of anything. So, here we go. We'll start with our invocation of giving and receiving because we are receiving energy and inspiration in order to give it away, whether it's just giving it to our own private page that no one else will ever read, or we're giving it out into the world for many to read. So, I give, I receive, I am part of the world. I give, I receive, I am part of the world. All right. Let's take some deep breaths. our eyes, and with the eyes of the heart, I invite you to imagine an image, a writer that you admire, that you love, living or dead. Perhaps you image or imagine a poem or a story or a book that you love and admire that has moved you, either one. Perhaps you create an image with the eyes of the heart of the muse, beautiful, radiant, darkly mysterious, ever within and ever without. Whatever image you want to create, whether that's of a fellow writer, or a piece of writing that you love, or the muse, gather that image in with the eyes of the heart, and hold it there as we tap. I am tapping in more creativity into my writing. I am tapping in more stories and images into my writing. I see the world with the eyes of a writer. I see stories and poems dripping from everything I see. I am observant and I see characters and stories. I hear sounds. I feel things that unfold and blossom into words. Long, lavish lines of poetry or prose. I see with the eyes of a writer. And I know. 
the best cure for writer's block, if there really is such a thing, is putting ass to chair and pen in hand. So right here and right now I make a conscious decision to simply sit and write. And I release any worry of what others might think of what I write. I release any fears of being approved of or disapproved of, any thoughts that what I write may be bad. Today I make a conscious decision to lower my standards. and just have fun. So I tap in right here and right now. The energy of that writer or that piece of writing that I love. And I tap in more inspiration. I tap in images of the muse as she lives and breathes within and around me. I write to heal my soul, to nourish my soul, to express my soul. All the energy that I may have within me, the, any, any feelings of joy or grief or shame or rage, I allow it to enter my writing, to unfurl across the page. I choose in this moment to let my pen dance and play across the page. <laughs> I choose to let my fingers dance over the keyboard, if that's how I write. I tap in a great sense of adventure and a willingness to explore the forests within me and around me. There are stories and poems everywhere. So I work with sounds and forms. I work with the musicality of language. And if I, if I choose, I allow my writing to leave the reader with questions. It's alright if I want to give them an answer, of course. But I channel in the mystery. It's okay to ask questions to express what I want to express, because the process of writing, of gathering the energy and healing, I love that process, and I honor it. I breathe in images. I breathe in the energy of the muse. I am the author of my life. That makes me an authority of my own life. So I write from my own life. I write from the world around me. And perhaps most of all, I write to have fun. To feel joy at helping heal myself and perhaps the world. So I spend lavishly on my favorite pens and my favorite journals and a, and a good computer if that's what I want. It is okay to spend as much money as I want and need on the tools for being a writer. 
I tap in more joy, infusing my writing with surprise and mystery and wonder. I don't need to come up with ideas. I don't need to work at that. That's an old idea. I simply need to let my feelings be there in this moment, channel them into my writing. The ideas are everywhere around and within. I open my heart and mind right here and right now to my feelings, to the energy of joy and discovery, gratitude, forgiveness, whatever it is I need and want right here and right now to write the way I want, how I want, and what I want. I am free to be me, to write with my own voice. So I listen. I explore. I write to share the mystery and the wonder Questions and answers, images and beauty, harmony and joy. I write because I am a writer. So I take time. I take time to write and to play with writing. And I walk and see with the eyes of a writer. Stories and images everywhere. It is just like oxygen within and without. The muse is always there. And I love and accept myself as a writer. I honor my gifts as a writer. Right here and right now. More inspiration, more joy, more freedom, more healing. I give, I receive, I am part. Of the world, I give, I receive, I am part of the world. <sighs> Thank you so much for watching. I truly hope you found that helpful and inspiring. And if you want any other EFT ideas or mentoring sessions with me, Go to my website, tappingwithmusic.com. Drop me a line, Joseph Anthony at tappingwithmusic.com. Be happy to help in any way I can. Go, write, have fun. Thanks for watching.